So we just got a box uh -huh. with a mysterious YouTube label. Uh oh. And if this isn't the play button, I quit. Oh, look at that oh. YouTube box. The box is very professional looking. I appreciate that. Good. It's That's... like seven months late, so at least it has that going for it. <laughs> it looks oh, really good. Oh, it does. Sweet. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. We have that. Thank you guys. This is all because of you. We, you got us. You got us this. You got us this cool memento of all the. All, all of all of you subscribing to our channel, so thank you so Is this much. happy Kyle face not worth it? Yeah. Kirk. What's up? Are you comfortable? Oh, you know. <laughs> this is the, the stand that we bought for putting putting snacks on so we can knock it over, because we didn't want to knock over one of the actual stands at the store <laughs> when we get there. This will either be sold or just left there if we don't feel like sticking it back in the car. New week, new video, except it's not really a new week, it's Thursday. Uh, we got into filming behind the scenes a little bit late this week because we've been trying to decide what we're actually doing for this week's video. Uh, for a while, we were talking about doing a parody of the YouTube Rewind video for 2017. Uh, we were discussing that in the Discord, and uh, we're talking about, like, getting a bunch of other YouTubers in and kind of doing this whole song parody thing where we have different clips from different people. It's just that we don't think we can actually get it done by the next release date, which is Christmas. Uh, so we are probably going to end up doing another Spider-Man video, which was originally on our plan. I just realized you can see me in the TV behind me holding my camera all awkwardly. Lola, what do you think about this plan? you think that sounds better than doing it? I am talking to you. Hey. Hey, this is like your one job. What do you think of the script? I think it's pretty good. It's funny. Cool. I'm just chuckling. You think hey. you'll be able to do the lines, or or would you prefer Ian do them? I think I could do it. I really like the way he sounds. Yeah. He would be hilarious. I think so, yeah. So who's Spider-Man? Uh, I'll be Spider-Man. Uh, I'll be uh, gotcha. Don't, can't you tell I've been training to fit in the suit for the past six months? <laughs> <laughs> I really like this shot as the background. Should we start putting up the stand? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where, kind of where I want things to be set up generally. And I'll tackle in this thing. I'm supervising. He is the engineer, so I trust that he will make it work. If I'm just being forceful enough with my deadlines. That's how it works, right? That's how all my bosses did it. Right. So he's actually three days late on this already, and his job hangs in the balance. Do we actually have, video. like, scissors as part of kit? Um... No, but I do have uh, my my weird wallet knife. It will not work after this, but that's fine. It's a wallet knife. It works once. Ian, you're putting in a suspicious amount of work for a supervisor. Well, my engineer quit on me. That's a quick briefing that yes. we will go over later. No, not with you. I'm talking to the people. Fine. The people. This place was actually recommended to us through um, our friends over at Nightwatch, and they had said that there was a really cool guy here that might be willing to let us film. And what he does is uh, open up his shop for middle schoolers to come after school and they just come and hang out and they have all different kinds of things that they can do. They have chess checkers and he even has instruments um, just so that I think they can kind of hang out and utilize their time well with each other. He teaches them life lessons. He's basically just, what do you call it, an after school special? Yeah. Yeah, he's like a real life Mr. Feeney. We put out a call for uh, extras in San Antonio and got a good response. We ordered like a an actual store display stand and then we're going to go buy packaged food from Costco because uh, the script punchline calls for us like knocking over a display. We don't want to actually knock over one of theirs so we we actually just bought our own. You're here for the Spider-Man, right? Uh -huh. I'm just filming behind the scenes so I just get up in people's faces and make them feel uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. Ian, look, we have somebody here for behind the scenes. Spider-Man comes in, the robber ends up being a big fan of Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> so the ending is at the door, five more people wearing ski masks just run through. <laughs> and then we just have one long shot of everybody kind of running in and then me just like, like punching what? each of you out basically. <laughs> called the minigun. Is this modeled after a leaf blower? No, it's, I mean, it's modeled after actual guns that kind of look like this. Reed built it out of gardening supplies. Uh, Wait, seriously? Themselves. Reed yeah. built this? Uh-huh. This is Messier's oh, gun from the guards themselves. We just haven't used it since then. I didn't know he built it. Yeah, this is, this is the flower pot.
How do you feel about Star Wars? Well, we don't have, no, 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 that's, that's a separate video. That's behind the high behind the scenes. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm asking him how he feels about Star Wars. Profoundly, this man is a criminal. I'm profoundly does this man, disappointed. Does this look like a moral, reputable voice of opinion? What did you say? I'm profoundly disappointed by the new Star Wars so far, and I, I don't dare to hope for episode eight. <laughs> Ian. Star Wars is about hope. He never even watched the first one. Don't take his opinion. Uh, we also got a whole bunch of new equipment set up. Um, this is my old computer, which we now have set up for Allison so that she can work on uh, doing some of her own editing. My brand new computer set up here. I tried it with the uh, Fallout 4 VR and it seemed to work very well. So I'm excited to try it with rendering effects. This is our pile of garbage. <laughs> we, have, we have this uh, refreshed weekly at this point. We took a long break. We don't have as much behind the scenes footage. I'm recovering from my vacation. <laughs> it was a hard vacation. <laughs> I told when Allison said that she looks sick, and I said he's probably just not been at work too long. I got I got sick. I've been having like a little bit of depression problems the last two days, and Allison was like, "I think it's because you haven't been at work." 2018, <laughs> huh? Yeah. Yep. Will it be better than 2017? I think so. I've always thought it would be. 2018 sounds like a more futuristic year. There's different certain years sound better than other ones. Well, so we got to the future when we officially started going 20 something instead of 2000 something. We've been just going over like things that we want to get done this year and realize that it's so much stuff that we have to kind of plan the entire year out, which I've never had to do before. Well you, well, you had other people do it for you, it's called school. It's true. What I'm thinking is we're going to end up finishing our current schedule in February, and we'll go back to weekly, but we'll only do that for like another three months. Then after that, we'll go back to our current schedule and use that time to build up more sketches to then be released while we're filming Skyballs. Okay, how much um, I presume the third part of the year? We're on episode 10. We have uh, three more episodes to outline, and then we have all the outlines for all 12 episodes. It's important to note, this is terrifying because um, uh, Kyle did everything the wrong way about doing the film, the film business. <laughs> Normally what you do is you, you're an intern up until now, <laughs> and then somebody just hands you a camera and a budget, and you're like, well, cool. For 2018, I think what you can expect like on the front end of the channel is going to be, we have a uh, Fallout video, we have D&D Fallout, and one other one coming out for, for our current schedule. Right. And then we'll go back to weekly for a while, and we already have two videos shot for them, actually. We have, we have a White Lightning Asia one with Weeble, and uh, a uh, arc. Arc, arc Survival Evolved with uh, Allison and Rachel. I oh think my ridiculous. god. We filmed both of those months ago. The Sky Vault budget is a little bit up in the air still. We're not entirely sure how we're going to do it, but we have lots of ideas that we're working off of. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a big combination of sources. Uh, we're going to get, we are going to do some crowdfunding, so anybody who wants to donate, uh, keep an eye out for that. We'll be announcing it like crazy when it goes up. Uh, honestly, like we worked it out. It's, it's, I mean, it's not hard math. If all of our subscribers gave us uh, like ten dollars for Skyvault, we would have like one and a half million dollars or something, which is way more than we need. Oh wow! Golly gee! If I get a pic of Spider-Man, my kids will love me. <laughs> oh my god, that was great. That's we filmed the Spider-Man video today, and we had a bunch of really awesome fans come out to to be in the video. Thank you guys so much for, for joining. I, I got to uh, punch all of them. They were all super cool and uh, and just kind of came out at uh, two day notice to to be in like one shot. So thank you guys. Ian, do you think that was a successful day? I didn't get punched once. I was promised that I would get bodily flung into a pointy rack and have my organ ruptured. And I didn't. Even, nobody so much as said a mean word to me. I feel <laughs> like I did not get my money's worth of well, showing up here for free. We made fun of you for sleeping. Okay, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, no, it was great. If you live in England and want to meet us, some of you said that you you did and do the last time we went somewhere, which was Rhode Island, which was New England, and it's not real England. If you live in real England and you want to meet us, we are thinking about going to England sometime soon to film some videos. Uh, Squire lives there. We wanted to do a couple of sketches because he has access to really cool locations. And while we were there, we wanted to just do like a like a road trip and go around to some of the different towns and uh, and see it. Because last time I went, I only got to go to London. If you're on the British Islands, just let us know where you are, and we can make a list of like the the most dense fan areas uh, when we're planning out our trip. And we will uh, let you know more information as we get, as we get closer, including when it's going to be, because we don't know yet.